Hi there, so this is just my opinion on what I think you could do to improve the chipping. Um, I've just written a book on chipping and I'll talk about different techniques and one of them is what I call a soft landing chip. Now for this chip, it's where you use your shoulders and your hands and arms move a long way. That's a very soft landing shot, but also it's a very weak strike. So it's very hard to strike the ball well when your hands are moving so far because hands movement creates power, especially if the wrist hinge goes with it as well. And what I noticed, certainly on your the bumper run shot, it was very much like this, quite rigid, whereas what it needed to be was a lot more width with the hands. So you're striking into the ball. The bumper run shot, especially when you're trying to go up the hill, you have to create run and energy. If I just have a go at this one here, we'll go over to that flag. I'm not sure if you'll see the ball, but when I hit the shot, See the ball pops up in the air, land, and there's not a lot of aggression in the actual run out afterwards. If I can get it a bit more like this, so I strike into the ball, now that's gone all the way up to the hole. So for that shot, I do think that you need to keep the hands closer to you and the wrist needs to work an awful lot more. So we're striking into it. Um, and the couple of ones which these didn't go too well with the more lofty club. Again, it, it was a very similar shot where when the hands go back, it does create power. But what I looked at well, was that the club face was opening as well. So you've got the club face opening and that the hands moving, both sort of weak shots. And even though you maybe wanted to pop the ball up, you could have gone in with a bit more width like, like this. So to strike the ball well, especially in the grass you have is a lot thicker than the grass we have over here, the slower the club, the more chance you've got of fluffing it, which is what happened. So what you need is a quicker whip where you hinge it backwards and then you strike and sort of stop. Years ago, when I used to watch, I could see that you were looking at where you're going to land the ball and how much run or, or energy or movement you were going to put in the shot and you sort of stepped up and you created the movement to create that effect on the ball so the amount of energy you wanted you did the movement to create that it looks like now you're trying to create a technique to create the energy and it can't work like that with chipping you have to work at, okay i'm going to land it here i'm going to make it run so far then the, how you strike the ball with the face either coming through open or slightly closed which is controlled by your wrist movement is what you need to do a lot more of so the only time that I would say to rock your shoulders back and through is when you're doing a very delicate chip, you've got a lovely line, you can't worry about striking it poorly at, at all. If you've got uphill, downhill, in a bit more grass, you need to use your wrist. And again, I understand what you said about um, flatter swing and everything else like that changing it. And it does change it when you were... Uh, working with, with, with short as you do the chipping the club used to come out like this which was very steep and it was too steep the goal club if you look at mine see how it comes behind so from there i can create a strike which runs the ball i can also open the face to create a bit more loft and get the ball to check but it all comes back down to how i bring the club into impact through my wrist ball position a couple of ones i, I saw the ball looked to be a long way back and when you come up this steep the room for error is very very small by moving it forwards you've got a bit more chance of striking it especially when you are coming in with a shallower stroke the ball's going to hit this one again you can see the ball's fairly forwards this one i can strike put a little bit of run on to the ball shot and again if i just whip it under the ball pops up and lands and stops very very quickly so same ball position very similar techniques i'm just changing what the club does through impact and that is what you used to do so well so I think you need to get back to working out what you want the ball to do, create the impact to create the amount of energy, as opposed to worrying about the technique. The more you worry about technique, the less you worry about what the ball does, i.e. where it's going to land and where it's going to finish. I hope that helps. I hope you'll watch it. Um, it'd be great to see you being the best again. Thank you.